Hello everybody, just a very quick video about the newest OEM patch, the V0.17.2. Um, in this patch I registered, registered, yeah, I registered all the bikes. Uh, unfortunately I realized that the registration file is needed to be the same on all clients and servers and therefore an update is needed for everyone. Um, thus three types it's a full installation with 2.6 gigabytes it has the factory skins and some stock skins with it um, there's the no paints version if you don't want to use or don't see or don't, don't want to see the factory skins because uh, you don't use them anyways it's 500 uh, 500 megabytes less uh, and then there's the patch only for the patch only please read what it says you need at least v0.17 Point one installed. I've tested it. I've tested it with 0 0.17.0 and the uh, tires patch v1 and on top of that the tires patch v2 and on top of that the OEM patch. Um, I recommend the no paints version because it's 500 megabytes less but still if you want to have the full package you can download it here. Um, so yeah I'm gonna show you how you would install it. Uh, if you have them downloaded you see one of those uh, zip files here all you're gonna do is if you want to install the full version just open it up it says install first so we go into our documents Pibozo MX bikes mods install first mods we have bikes and tires all we want and all we have to do is move the bikes and tires folder into your mods folder And once that's complete, um, you still have the option to install GeoPanos Dunlop or Maxis tires. So all you want to do is just to go into optional GeoPanos Dunlop mods and tires and copy it over into your mods folder. If it asks you if you want to replace any file, you say yes. And that's it. That's how you install the full version. If you already have them installed, like if you have v0.17 Point one installed and you want to install the patch only you open up the patch only zip and all you do is go into patch files and do exactly the same just go into mods and here you have bikes and tires and if it will ask you to replace files it was only nine for me because it replaces the tires files but if you had the patches installed before it will also replace all the files that are in OEM packs like in OEM bikes and that's pretty much it. So you just drag and drop stuff and call it a day. Uh, something to mention, I've added the uninstall all tire patch uh, script I've done last patch. If you have or if you had uh, the 0.17.1 installed with a patch, I recommend to download the full pack and use the uninstaller to get rid of all the patched files because you have loose files in your bike installation and that could cause issues at some point. So to make sure everything is correctly installed just run the batch file and it will delete all the patched files and you have a clean installation of your bikes. And that's it. Thanks for watching and I can't wait for bike mismatch messages everywhere. <laughs>